hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm Sharmin. in this video i'm going to teach you uh, aq a g c i c biology uh, this is 2018 okay so you can download this paper and practice this is a good way you can improve your biology so let's see so number one Plants transport water and mineral ions from the roots to the leaves. Plants move mineral ions from a low concentration in the soil to a high concentration in the root, uh, root cells. Okay, so what process do plants use to move these mineral ions into root cells? So this is obviously active transport. Okay, describe how water moves from roots to the leaves. So by transpiration stream and pool in xylem. Okay, so let's see another one. So this is a plant's lost water through the stomata in the leaves. The epidermis can be peeled from a leaf. The stomata can be seen using a light microscope. Okay, so table one shows the da data a student collected from five areas on one leaf so you can see this is the leaf area upper surface lower surface okay so uh, here is a question describe how the student might have collected the data in table one so mount epidermis on a slide and count stomata in one area repeat in four more areas okay so here it is here is another question 1.4 okay what is the median number of stomata on the upper surface of the leaf? So uh, you can see here, this is, um, here is the upper surface here. So 0, 1, 1, 3, 5. So it will be, median will be 1. Okay, so my answer is 1. Okay, 1.5. Calculate the value of x in table 1. Give your answer to um, two significant figure. So uh, uh, here is uh, uh, you can see uh, here the lower surface here you can see uh, this is the um, uh, this is the lower surface okay so we add all the number here and divide it by five so the answer will be forty one point two so mean number of stomata on lower surface of leaf forty one this is the answer okay. The plant used in this investigation has very few stomata on the upper surface of the leaf. Explain why this is an advantage to the plant. So we need to uh, we need to write down the uh, advantage. Why this is an advantage to the plant? Less water lost. Okay, so it does not do well. Okay, let's see another one. Here is a tobacco mosaic virus. TMV is a disease affecting plants. Figure 1 shows a leaf infected with TMV. Okay, so you can see this is the yellow patches where and TMV has destroyed here. You can see destroyed chloroplast. So it, this is not a green color. So whenever you see the leaf, this color of leaf. So number 2, 1, okay. All roots should be washed in disinfectant after using them on plants infected with TMB suggest why to kill virus okay and 2.2 scientists produced a single plant that contained a TMB resistant gene suggest how scientists can use this plant to produce many plants with the TMB resistant gene so here's a one marks Take cells from Mary stem. Okay, this is easy one. Let's see another one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so 2.3. Some plants produce fruits which contain glucose. Okay, describe how you would test for the presence of glucose in fruit. So heat a mixture and add a few drops of uh, Benedix solution and glucose turn solution blue to orange okay and uh, 2.4 TMB can cause plants to produce less chlorophyll this causes leaf discoloration explain why plants with TMB have stunted growth 
So here is a four marks less photosynthesis because of lack of chlorophyll. Okay, so uh, therefore less glucose made so and less energy released for growth. Okay, and because glucose is needed for respiration. Okay, so next one number three. Microorganisms cause infections. Okay. The human body has many ways of defending itself against microorganisms. So 3.1. Okay. Describe two ways the body prevents the entry of microorganisms. So this is obviously acid in stomach kills pathogens in food. Here's in the nose trap pathogens. Okay. So this is two ways the body prevents the entry of microorganisms. T2. In 2014, the Ebola virus killed almost 8,000 people in Africa. Drug companies have developed a new drug to treat Ebola. Explain what testing must be done before this new drug can be used to treat people. So here is a six months preclinical trials of the new drug on cells. Okay, and this is and clinical test on healthy volunteers and patients at very low doses so that you can monitor for safety, okay, and random allocation of patients to groups, peer review of data to help prevent false claims. So here is a six mark. So this is enough for six mark, okay. Number four, all living cells respire. Respiration transfers energy from glucose for muscle contraction and describe how glucose from the small intestine is moved to a muscle cell. Glucose is absorbed by diffusion into the bloodstream, then blood delivers glucose to muscles in capillaries. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Figure 2 shows an experiment to investigate anaerobic respiration in yeast cells. So here is a figure you can see liquid, paraffin and yeast cells in sugar solution, gas bubble you can see indicator solution. So this is tube B and tube A. Okay, so what is the purpose uh, of the liquid paraffin in tube A? So you need to tick one box. So this is obviously to stop air getting in. Okay, so here is another question. The indicator solution in tube B shows changes in the concentration of carbon dioxide and the indicator is blue when the concentration of carbon dioxide is very low, green low, uh, when the concentration of carbon dioxide is low and yellow this whenever is high, carbon dioxide is high. Okay, so what's the question? For three, what color would you expect the indicator to be in to be during maximum rate of anaerobic respiration? And so we, uh, whenever you observe, um, observe the tube, this is tube B, here is a gas bubble here. So that means um, carbon dioxide is high, so color will be yellow. So my answer is yellow, okay? Next one, number four, suggest how the experiment could be changed to give a reproducible way to measure the rate of the reaction. Include any apparatus you would use. Collect the carbon dioxide with a measuring cylinder or gas um, uh, syringe and in a certain time use a timer. Okay, so this is the question four. Continuous next phase. 4, 5. Compare anaerobic respiration in a yeast cell with anaerobic respiration in a muscle cell. You need to compare, okay? Yeast produces ethanol but muscles produces lactic acid. Very good. Yeast produces carbon dioxide but muscles do, do not. Both release small amounts of energy. Okay, so let's uh, so we need to make another video okay this is a very long video so i will make another i need to drink some water because i have a cough so bye see you soon